Hello everyone uh, out there at the Living Youth website land. I want to make an announcement and then explain what I'm about to do right now. The announcement is that there is not a podcast going up today. This is Friday, June 10th, and we did record one, but it wasn't until uh, actually we, we were editing it and getting it ready to, to load that we discovered we were making a factual error in, in part of what we were saying to the point that we just felt like what we were saying we want to get it right if we're going to say something. I will let you know what it is, what it's about, so you'll know what to anticipate, assuming we're still going to talk about this. And it is about the Johnny Depp Amber Heard uh, defamation trial. It was actually recommended to us as a young man, uh, early 20s, came up to us last Sabbath and said, boy, on the podcast, it'd be great if you guys talked about this because a lot of us are talking about it. And, of course, you can think about those things biblically. Uh, so if, if you would do that, that would be that would be great. So we do plan on doing that, but we'd like to redo the podcast that we recorded earlier this week, um, and 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 include maybe some other angles. But right now, do something different. If uh, just just wave, if you will, just wave. Ah, uh, look, hey, there's somebody here. So in place of that, oh, he's got more than one hand. Uh, in place of that, uh, I thought it'd be so fun. One thing that we've wanted to do here on the Living Youth website is to. I give some of you more insight in terms of what's going on at headquarters. What is life like? What is it? What is a? What do we do here? What are the different departments? In this particular case, I have a guest with me who is responsible for a number of things. We're going to focus on one particular thing. I'm not going to say who it is because what I like to do is five questions, and one of the questions we'll give him a softball one will actually be what the individual's name is, and if he doesn't know his name, we're going to shoo him out and stop the video because clearly. We're dealing with someone who, who has other problems that that we can't help him with. So let me let me adjust the camera. Oh, look, there he is. Okay. So here he is. Oh, he waved again. That was a bonus wave. All right. So we have someone here who does work uh, at the headquarters office. So we're going to do five questions with this individual. And by the way, the, the name of the individual might be in the title oh. of the post. So if you read that, you, you already know who it is. But he, he, he doesn't know yet, maybe who he is. Not yet. All right. Uh, first question. Well, first, let me say hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you, being Mr. here. Smith, Appreciate yes. it. All right. Uh, what What is your name? Identify yourself for everyone. My name is Mike D. Simone. Mr. Mike D. Simone. In fact, some people might know your brother. That's right, that Tom D. Simone. That's correct. Kansas City area. Yes, that's Kansas right. Kansas City. Okay, some of you yeah. in Kansas City, you know, Mr. Tom D. Simone. All right. Uh, that was the first question. Secondly, and I'm going to cheat and combine sort of two questions. Uh, do you have a family? I know we've already mentioned. You have a brother, mm -hmm. but do you have a wife and children? And if you do, if you would please also let us know their names. Sure. And ages, if uh, if they have ages. Yes. Oh boy, I might get in trouble with. Oh that yeah, one. maybe I should have warned him. Right. <laughs> Approximate ages. I do have a wife. Her age is no. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I, I do have a wife, wonderful wife, and four children. Have uh, uh, three girls, one boy. Uh, our oldest girl is 19, about to be 20. I, I thought she just turned. Yeah, you're right. Oh, well, yeah. I, I think four you're right. More, four more days or Okay, so, that's yeah, right. That's like right. That. So, and then I uh, have a 17-year-old boy, a 15-year-old girl, and a 12-year-old girl. All right. And, uh, you know, rather than go through their first names so mm -hmm. they don't get stalked online, <laughs> But you are, that is their you know their last name is D Simone. D Simone. They all yeah, they all are trapped right. by that name. Thankfully. So well, yeah, oh, yes, yeah, I'm sure you say thankfully, <laughs> but I know they do too. Mr. D Simone's wonderful. All right, so let's get more specific in terms of what you do here. Uh, now I know you like a lot of us wear a lot of hats, mm -hmm. so we're not talking about all of your hats because we would be here all day. But I'd like to focus on a particular hat. He does help in the television department. In a small way, mm -hmm. he would say he would probably say a small way. We would say a very large way. If you would please explain for our audience here, what do you do? In what way are you involved with the television department? Sure. So I help with um, managing the television department and the production of the telecast. Um, help with uh, certain analyzing, you know, how the telecast does and and what we can do to improve the telecast and. Um, we also do some really beyond the telecast. We, we also do, uh, let's say, the whiteboards, and we have other projects that we do. We're currently working on the Feast film uh, for this year, and the DVD that you did the, about the transgender movement, 
Um, so all of those those video type projects. Right, TV is, is really, that's a, it's a narrow sounding word that doesn't really encompass all the video work and all right. the, the material production you guys produce. In fact, right. did, did y'all get out the, this is not one of the five questions, just so you know you're not off the hook. Six questions. Yeah, we'll, we'll say five, but now we're off the, we're off okay, the books. Okay, okay, it's okay. off the books. Right. Uh, y'all were working on one for five, seven proofs that God exists. That was going, that's going out tonight, is that, that right? That went out uh, last night, actually. Oh, it did, went yeah. out last night. Okay, so if you go to the Tomorrow's World channel yep. and see that, in That's fact, right. well, you know what? We'll try to we'll try to post a link to that. Okay. We'll, we'll try to put a link to that one up. Great. Uh, he actually consulted with me on That's one right. of the math questions, yep. so That's I right. I enjoyed that uh, very much. Uh, the one item I won't say what it is, but it, I think it was uh, mm, I can't remember which point it was. It was either point one or point two. Oh, but, that you asked me about? Yeah. I because I reviewed it recently. I want to say it was one or two. Right. Okay. It was it was definitely right there at the well, beginning. Well, when I first heard that stat from you, I'm telling you I. I yelled out in the kitchen. It was in, during a Bible study that you you gave, right? And I, I could not help myself that I, I, I once my mind wrapped around what was being said, I, I yelled out in a way that I, I couldn't control. You know, I, I can verify this. I've talked with his family, and and I did mention in the Bible study one particular number, a statistic, which is based on what we currently understand about the universe. If we find we misunderstand some things, who knows that that could change. But based on our current understanding of the universe, there's this really small probability. And I remember hearing from his from his wife, and she said, it "Might have even been a text, but it was it was that evening." Said, "I don't know what you said." You know, but we, we heard this noise come from come from Mike, and we said, what, what, what's wrong? And it just stunned him, you know, how, how, how big this number was. And I, let me compliment you. The way you guys, because you can't illustrate that number, right. you make no. that point, but still the way you communicated a sense of how big that number is was fantastic. Mm. I don't know who, who was the genius behind that. Jonathan but Riley. Jonathan Riley. Great job, Mr. Riley, yeah. if you happen to see this. But we'll, we'll do our best. We'll, we'll do our best to have a post with that link. If it's not in this uh, post, then just look later or wait for it. We'll make sure that, that everybody gets to see it. But that's the point. You, you work not just with, with the television program, but with DVD products, with, with other videos that we create. The whiteboards in particular, Mr. Simone was really the genesis of those and got that going. And the team has grown. He's just, in fact, he's the voice. You're still the voice for right. pretty much all of them mm -hmm. so far. So if you don't like the voice, sorry, that, that, that's the guy. Yeah. And I, I can speak from the perspective of being on the set. He's also the one in the, the studio, the control room, who is actually doing his best to make the calls, who's, who's really directing things. And, and it's just such a pleasure to work with that team. So just th thank you so much. Mr. Yes, thank you. Mr. Mr. DeSimone, yeah, you bet. You all you. right, so that's the second question. I, no, third. That was the third question. Question number four. All oh, right. So from, from the perspective, whether it's TV or video, whatever it is, what, what are some of the, the biggest challenges that you and your team seem to experience in your roles producing this kind of material for the church? Uh, maybe a couple of items. One, you know, certainly we do have, <clears throat> I can't say we feel it as a direct impact on ourselves, but one of the things we do run into that you're aware of is uh, censorship, you know, mm, so right. we create a telecast, uh, you know, whether Mr. Smith, Mr. Weston, Mr. Ames, or Mr. McNair, uh, you know, are, are the presenter on it, <clears throat> but the topic or aspects of the topic just are not going to be accepted in, particularly in Australia, New Zealand, sometimes right. the UK. Australia and New Zealand can be just really strict in terms right. of what they allow, right? That's right. So that that's one issue that requires us sometimes to have to go back and make edits if it's a small enough edit that we can just kind of edit that little part out so that we can be on the air down there. Otherwise, we're going to air a rerun, and you know, you do right. too many of that, those, and it's not good. Uh, another issue or maybe challenge is, um, and we're currently working on it. We, we've had we've had a lot of fun working on it actually over the. Now, I don't know. I've had a lot of fun working on it over the last uh, couple of years. And yeah, he is, likes a challenge, though. Yeah. Uh, is to continue to refine our process so that we can be more effective with our time, you know, having the same number of people mm -hmm. that we have and being able to accomplish far more. So that's been a, a particular objective that we've been trying to uh, work toward. And we're actively doing that now. We've got... Um, 
uh, nine projects that are happening uh, currently in an effort to remove waste and, and be more effective. Wow, and, and I can speak to what I've seen, which is it just seems like the production is so much more than, than I've ever known to come from the TV department. It just takes time to learn a lot of things, and y'all, it just seems from my perspective, y'all have actively invested in trying to understand how to do things, how to do more things, but not just more. You can always do more with lower quality, but more and keep right. the quality yes. up and, and be more effective with the higher quality. Yes, and this is about accomplishing more with at least the same quality or higher quality All right. Yeah. All right, that's four questions. Okay. You're almost done. All you've right. done. You've done very well. By the way, I need to compliment him. <laughs> it was my goal to take some sort of a, a breath strip oh. while you were here, oh, boy. and I forgot. You don't I need might, it. I might just need so you know. One now. No, I'm not going to give you one. Oh. <laughs> now all you'll do is smell my breath. Yeah, that's what. Wasn't sometimes when someone before. says, "Oh, I need a breath strip," you're thinking, "Oh, he's trying to tell me hint, I need hint. one." Yeah. <laughs> but no, not at all. His oh, breath it it smells smell like lavender. His now. breath smells like lavender and lilacs. <laughs> I don't even know what that smells like. So, uh, but now you're getting good Listerine. Listerine. Oh, by the way, not one. this one. video is not sponsored by by Listerine. <laughs> All right, fifth question, and this one, I know it involves some speculation, perhaps, but a TV is still a huge medium, mm -hmm. right? I mean, there, it's even though there's streaming, even when the the my sons and I watch YouTube, we're often watching on our our television, mm -hmm. right? It's still still a big part of people's lives. But what do you just speculating? What what are some of your thoughts about the future? of that, uh, this element of the work, the television department. It, it might be something not even that we would yeah, kind of grasp because it might be invisible things, elements of the future. They're more involved with y'all's work. But as you look into the future in the next several years about television, uh, what, what, what comes to mind? What's something you would think of you might, you might mention to our, our audience mm -hmm. of uh, teens, young adults, and their families? That is a good question. You know, a lot of things, it, it is difficult to predict what is going to work and what's not going to work in the future. One of the things that, uh, you know, you know that I, I've tried to really focus on is not going down every path that is available. The idea of strategic, this isn't directly answering your question yet, right. but I think it is just uh, Related? part of the question, okay. yeah, or part of the answer. Strategic neglect. That is, make sure to focus only on the things that you can be effective and successful with, as opposed to trying every uh, aspect of things. I, I love the proverb, um, uh, if, you, if you chase, uh, I don't know, old Chinese proverb. I have no idea. <laughs> I was about to say, we're in the proverbs, is this? Yeah. But it's an, it's an no, old no, proverb. No, no. Some right, type of right. old proverb. Yeah, whatever. And um, it is, if you chase two rabbits, you catch none. If you chase one, you'll, you'll get that one. Wow. That, that, that type of thing, mm -hmm. right? But anyways, uh, the point is, is it's difficult to know what the future is, is going to hold. Um, you have to continually be on the lookout and thinking about researching and, 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 and also identifying where God is leading things as well. Um, and kind of keeping your, your hand on the pulse in that. It is, again, difficult to know. Mm. Um, certainly there's the idea, I mean, certainly there, there's streaming, right? And you have to ask certain questions. Can, can we, you know, I start, there, there's ideas that come all the time, right? But can they be effective? You know, us starting our own streaming platform. Okay, well, we would be, competing against Disney and Netflix and every, you know, there's certain, it might sound good, some things might sound good, but will they really bring the results that, mm. you know, that God wants, that you know, Mr. Weston is looking for, that others are, are looking for, Mr. Ames, will it really bring those results? Um, you know, we want people who end up following us, you know, YouTube right now is a big thing. There's, of course, you know, there's other social platforms that reach billions of people right that we can currently get on get in front of people and grow followers or those who who want to hear more I appreciate the way you've put all of that but I know because I know an editorial and I know you do too because I've seen seen some of the uh, communications here and there especially when it's to, to both of us 
but people who have ideas and so many of you guys have ideas and so many so many members have ideas and you appreciate everyone caring about the work and of course you care about the work we care about the work but there's a universe of ideas but not only can we only do a small number of those ideas so you're immediately having to pick among them yes. you can't do all 100 ideas yeah. you might be able to do one or two in a certain window but it's it's almost a torturous fact it's a, you can torture yourself a bit knowing that while you want while you you know God it's it has to do with his blessings is God going to bless yeah. it or not at the same time you don't want him to bless the work in spite of your efforts you mm -hmm. want to be mm -hmm. doing the kind of work that makes it that much easier for yes. God to to work and you know that not all efforts produce the same kind of fruit. Not right. all efforts are within our wheelhouse in the same that others are. And you can sacrifice it. Back when I was training as an actuary, working as an actuary, we talked about opportunity costs. Mm -hmm. That doing one thing, one of the costs of yeah. doing that thing is is the op is the cost of not doing other things. Yes. And there's always opportunity costs. And it's not just that, oh, this is a cheap idea, and yet it could be so effective. Well, maybe, but doing this idea means we won't have the resources to do these other things that's as right. well. And that's something that you, you really face on on a regular basis, trying to pick just the right. We do the same thing in editorial. What is just the right booklet to focus on? What is just the right uh, DVD to, to create and put out? And you all face the same thing in terms of video content and, and, and other, other areas you work with. You know, there's been a just a, a quick note is there's been item, um, let's say, Situations. I'm not going to get into the details of it, but where you, you've tried, you've made certain efforts, you've made multiple efforts, then you say, look it, I, I've got to prune this thing and prune the time, take it out. You know, maybe, maybe you don't let it die completely, but it's just not the time. Then you've got other situations where uh, a, a, a relatively in the past several month type situation that, that's happened is... I said, ah, oh, this thing, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think this thing is going to be very effective for us. And I'll tell you what, God, I was wrong, and God showed clearly that that we needed to go in that particular direction. Mm -hmm. He opened mm -hmm. the doors in a way, and then, and then when I, you know, as I was just evaluating. Um, the, the situation, right? Uh, God pointed at it again and pointed at it again, and and even recently, just it's like, okay, God is opening the door over here, so we need to be very sensitive to those things, mm. and not just do the things that we think might be effective or not effective. I mean, you got to make certain judgments. You're asking sure. God for wisdom. You're asking, getting counsel and input. You know, we get and and you're asking for just guidance overall and then he will open doors and close doors and that's always a wonderful thing that he does that you know you know what you just said makes me think that really is our model for how god works with the work it's not that it's all us and just us being brilliant and knowing all the right things to do but it's also not the other ditch where we all just sit back and say hey god we're ready when you want to use us just show us everything where he, he's He's having to do work that we could be doing. Right. He's working with us in the work so that we're striving our best, hopefully our best, and that gives him a vehicle in which to work to show, go in this direction. But but in fact, why would he bother to show a right direction to, say, people who weren't even bothering to try to go in any particular mm -hmm. direction? Uh, and I would say, just to add something in terms of for, for our teens and our youth, a lot of this reminds me of John chapter 15, right? Where he talks about pruning. Yep. You know, the father prunes. He's the dresser. He sees something unproductive. He prunes it and takes right. it off. But even the things that are productive, yes. he still prunes. He still shapes. They will bear more fruit. Yes. I didn't fully understand that until I would say more. I wouldn't say this. I understand it more the last several years because my wife is doing a lot of gardening. Mm -hmm. Not because she wants to be a gardener, but she recognizes the benefit to being able to make your own food. And so she's, she likes to be productive. My wife likes to be very productive. Mm -hmm. And so she's learned, like when her strawberry plants, are, it may not have been strawberry plants, I think it was, that it's good to, don't take this advice if you're growing strawberry plants. I don't know if I'm getting it right. I think it is strawberry. Okay, but yeah, where she was actually removing some leaves yep. to force a larger I leaf so, production. Yeah. 
she was literally taking healthy plants and still removing parts. Removing to, flowers. Or remo- oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Removing the flowers mm-hmm. to, to force the leaves to, to grow more and produce more. Right. So even then with a healthy plant, you're still working it. Mm-hmm. And I would say the same thing. When it comes to our lives, our uh, for teens and young people and parents out there watching, it's a matter of God wants to see people in motion. He wants to see us addressing our life. Uh, and he works with us in, in that regard. If we're in motion, if we're doing, if we're striving, we're giving him something to work with. And it's a chance for him to roll up his sleeves. You know, as so we both have our, mm-hmm. our sleeves rolled up. Look at us hard workers. Uh, he's get a chance to roll up his sleeves and jump in and he, it gives him something to move. So, so do jump in, but don't feel bad when God prunes some directions from your life. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't mean it was necessarily something terrible. It could mean he's just shaping you for something better, maybe it was a maybe that pruning is a is a reflection of the positive direction in which you're going. So, right. yeah, anyway, which kind of a random a random yeah. observation, and that's I, right. and that's it. You survived all, all right. five questions. That was great, was it? Yeah. yeah thank you. Yeah. First time we've done this here for for living youth, but I used to do something like this a long time ago, and thought I would take advantage of this opportunity with with no podcast to post uh, to do another one of those. So, your first one. Congratulations. All right, that was fun. Setting the pace. Hello and goodbye, everyone. That's right. Thank you so much, <laughs> yes, Mr. DeSimone. Thank you, Mr. Smith. And all of you out there, you guys have a uh, wonderful... We should be getting this posted today, God willing. And so it should be Friday night, maybe when some of, the, some of you see this. But regardless of where you are, we hope you have a wonderful Sabbath. Adios. Bye.